Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Brooke and Brendan's special day. This is a beautiful, beautiful moment. We are so blessed that all of you can be here with us. Here we are, my love. The day has finally come. The day where we can officially say that we are now a family, a bond united by the love that we share for one another. You represent everything that I have always wanted in a wife. Loyal, smart, beautiful, kind, and filled with joy. 12 years ago, at my dad's summer basketball league, Brooke and Brendan met for the very first time. Despite only being in eighth grade, Brooke saw something in Brendan that she wanted. And as we all know, when Brooke sets her eyes on something, she goes after it full force. Bren, uh, today is our day, baby. My 14-year-old self and 26-year-old self are screaming right now. I'm sure you're calm, cool, and collected as always. I think back and I smile because from the first time I met you, I knew it was going to be you forever. From the backseat rides in your mom's green Honda Accord to our first kiss at Charlton Middle School. Fast forward to purchasing our first home, adopting our sweet moo. I never want to do a day without you. Take a moment to take all of this in. All of our favorite people are here right now celebrating us, making a promise to love each other for the rest of our lives. It's truly beautiful. I cannot wait to see how beautiful you look in your dress. The world is going to stop when you walk down the aisle because there will truly not be anything in the world that shines more at that point in time. Good evening, everyone. It's both an honor and a privilege to have been asked to conduct today's ceremony. I remember a few months ago I got a call from Brooke and she asked me to come over to her house. And I couldn't for the life of me think why she was inviting me over. I had already given her the money for the wedding. <laughs> Brendan and Brooke both looked at me and asked me if I would marry them. And my heart melted. I am not a reverend, I'm not a pastor. I'm a dad. And a dad that's extremely proud to be here today with his baby girl and her new husband. Brooke, the day has finally come. The day that finally makes what we have had for so long official. You have had it for as long as I can remember, but today I have the honor of giving you my hand and my heart in the celebration of a lifetime. I am a true believer in everything in this world happening for a reason. And I truly believe that we are brought together by a power greater than all of us. I vow to always be your calm whenever you are stressed and to always put your well-being above everything else even when I could really use a sandwich. I vow to support you in any endeavor that you desire, no matter what it is. I vow to love you, Maya, and our future children more than anything in this world, every single day and every single night, unconditionally and endlessly. Brendan, after years of dreaming of this day, here we are. I could possibly not feel more blessed, excited, and hopeful for where we have been, where we are today, and where we're gonna go. I thank you for your patience, for being my calm, my comfort, and my constant. I thank you for your loyalty. You are my home. You are my past. You are my future. You are my whole heart. I promise to grow old with you and love you more and more every day. By the power invested in me today, by the state of New Hampshire, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Brendan, you may kiss my daughter now to be your wife.
On behalf of the bridesmaids and groomsmen, I just wanted to say thank you to Brendan and Brooke for finally including us here today and watch them tie the knot. I say finally because I think we all know here today this day was coming, it was just a matter of time. Try to catch me howling at the moon. Brendan, your love for my sister is beautiful, and I could not picture a more perfect person to be her soulmate. I could not be more excited to officially call you my brother. It is so evident to see the love that both of you share for one another. Hold on to that love and let it carry you into the days ahead as your fairy tale love story continues to unfold. He has become relentlessly motivated and works harder in every aspect of his life, harder than anyone I know with the exception of Brooke, which is why you guys are perfect for each other. Brendan has made a lot of poor choices in life. With that being said, he certainly chose the right person to spend it with. I have watched you guys grow together every step of the way in admiration. It is extremely rare in this generation to see high school sweethearts make it to the big day, but you guys made it look breezy. Please join me in raising a glass to my best friend and his beautiful bride, the new Mr and Mrs. Coughlin. Yeah.